Yeah, show them, show them the 180 degree Hollywood. What we start doing is we, th we throw the chum 180 degrees around the back of the boat. What happens is it, if the bait is not right on us, it brings it in. So we're chumming out. We don't chum a lot like that. We just little sprinkles. And then once we get them in, then we start dumping the, the chum right behind the boat. Right now we're on the flats. There's a ton of baits bait on the flats. Uh, so it's there's the bait is definitely on the flats. Uh, the water temperature is 75 to 75 degrees on the flat. So there's definitely bait here. It's a little on the small side. So what we're probably going to do is catch bait here, use those as chummers, and then go catch bigger bait at the markers. A lot of people ask me how I throw throw the net. So I'm going to show you what I do is I grab it by the horn like this. Stretch it out. This is a 10 foot quarter inch pump back 1.3 pounds per foot shallow water net so what I do is first get the leftover bait out of it <laughs> and what I like to do is <clears throat> the best way to do it is to spread it out like this make sure there's no tangles I get about halfway through then what I do is I roll my wrist forward and lay that part of the net over grab it as it's coming down grab it put it in my teeth grab it with my pinky roll it back over and I'm ready to throw that's a big bait and just like that you're gonna catch bait Well, bait was easy. It's on the flats. So if you're if you're looking for easy bait and don't want to catch it at the Skyway or mess with the markers, the bait is thick on the flats. I mean, thick, thick. We were catching as much as we catch at the at the markers per throw. So, all right, what we're doing here is we're sitting in 16 feet of water and we're free lining. The tide is pretty slack right now. It's just starting to come in. So we decided to come to this spot because we knew the tide was going to start ripping. So we're free lining right now and we're catching grouper and we're chumming. <laughs> oh, he didn't oh. break you off. The friggin' big boy pole. Especially. Your drag is too loose. It ain't that loose. <laughs> he took you right into that snuff. I didn't want to crack. Again. That drag's not as loose as you think. Look pretty loose. He, he went that way, and then he went that way. He wasn't going that way, he was going <laughs> Then I knew I was in trouble. I couldn't yeah. keep up. Did he? Yep. Oh. <laughs> Jeez. Look at that. <laughs> that was worth the wait. Yeah, it was. That's crazy. He's puking up chummers. Is he really? Yep. Three. God, listen me. Alright, so what that one did is that one got me in the rock. So I went out and gave it some slack, waited about three minutes, put the juice to it, and there he is. See you in June. I'm going to my big boy pole. Oh, you pansy. I just showed you it can be done. Mm.
Come on now. You got the big boy pole. Oh, he's got somebody's hook in his mouth. Yep. <laughs> Probably mine. Oh, of course. <laughs> he was like, I'm out of here. Folks, we are actually I have never seen <laughs> We are we are freelining for grouper. And I'm actually I'm actually chumming the grouper like I would snook. If you can see them in the foreground, they're absolutely coming out of the water and busting the baits. Right two there. of them. Two of them come out of the water <laughs> after that bait. How are you hooking it? This is artificial. Oh. I don't feel. I have never seen a grouper come out of the water like that. Oh. Come back and got it? Yeah, another one here. They're all the way over there. Yeah. I wouldn't be nice in the time Well, I assume they would no. come up and blow up on this too. Yeah. Free line. Coming out of the water. That takes so long. It's crazy, folks. Absolutely nuts. That was a big one. Doubled up free line and grouper on the, on, on the surface like we're snook fishing.
Oh my god, did you see yeah. that one? Holy crap! Did you see how big he was though? Holy Jesus! He's huge, dude! He doubled up again. I saw mine. He was he's big. Mine ain't no slouch. Come on, Todd. Eh, yours ain't bad. No. I watched him come up and eat it. I watched this fish come up and eat it. Literally right on the surface. Well, folks, we've had a great day fishing. We've caught a ton of fish. Uh, Chad's still catching fish. Oh, I missed him. But the best part of the day was the skyrocketing grouper for sure. That was absolutely crazy and I'm hoping that we got it on film. I'm pretty sure we did because they were skyrocketing everywhere. It wasn't just one or two fish, it was a ton of them. I just want to say thank you for everybody that, that watches our show, that supports us, that buys our jig heads, our fluorocarbon leader, rods, reels, chum baskets, bait cutters, everything. It's been, it's been awesome. Also, if you haven't subscribed to our YouTube page, do so and then sign up on our webpage for the 10,000 subscriber giveaway. We're going to do another fishing trip. We've got two, two giveaways to, to take care of before we get to that point. But if you haven't signed up, sign up for it and subscribe to the YouTube channel. It's very important because the more subscribers we get, the better we do. So until next week friday fishing forecast tight lines and hopefully they don't shut down the state of florida <laughs> see you guys next week